I am Zarina Sidesheva, lecturer of IT and digital resources in teaching foreign languages. Welcome to the second lecture, Opportunities of Distance Learning in Teaching Foreign Languages. Outline for today's lecture is the first question. Importance of distance learning technology. The second question. Distance learning based on computer technology. And the last question for discussion is problems of formation and development of communicative foreign language in distance learning is free mastery. Key words. Distance. The length of the space between two points. The second meaning. The full length of a race. Learning. The acquisition of knowledge or skills through study, experience or being taught. Distance learning, a method of studying in which lectures are broadcast or lessons are conducted by correspondence without the student needing to attend a school or college. Information, facts provided or learned about something or someone what is conveyed or represented by a particular arrangement or sequence of things. Distance learning, also called distance education, e-learning and online learning. Form of education in which the main elements include physical separation of teachers and students during instruction and the use of various technologies to facilitate student-teacher and student-student communication. Distance learning traditionally has focused on non-traditional students, such as full-time workers, military personnel and non-residents or individuals in remote regions which are unable to attend classroom lectures. However, distance learning has become an established part of the educational world with trends pointing to ongoing growth. Technology can be a powerful tool for transforming learning. It can help affirm and advance relationships between educators and students, reinvent our approaches to learning and collaboration, shrink long-standing equity and accessibility gaps, and adapt learning experiences to meet the needs of all learners. Our schools, community colleges and universities should be incubators of exploration and invention. Educators should be collaborators in learning, seeking new knowledge and constantly acquiring new skills alongside their students. Education leaders should set a vision for creating learning experiences that provide the right tools and supports for all learners to thrive. However, to realize fully the benefits of technology in our education system and provide authentic learning experiences, educators need to use technology effectively in their practice. There are different technologies for the organization of the distance learning. They are case technology is implemented with teaching materials developed in the training. Students will be provided with the necessary textbooks, course guides, audio cassettes, video cassettes, instructional computer programs, materials on CD-ROM, and etc. and receives a set of educational and methodical materials. The second, TV technology is broadcast live with lectures. Next, creates electronic textbooks for teaching multimedia technology programs. And the last, lecturers and lessons in the form of presentations using Internet technology. In Internet-based distance learning, teachers and students interact with each other through a variety of telecommunications tools. Email allows them to write a personal letter on the main issues of the course. Thanks to the ability to send information via email at high speed, assistance to the listener is provided in a timely manner immediately upon receiving of the request. With the help of the Internet, you can not only provide feedback to students, but also monitor and evaluate their learning activities. The main task of the teacher of the distance learning technology is to manage the following types of independent work of the student. Consideration of emerging issues, setting goals and objectives, transfer of knowledge experience, 
organizational activities, organization of interaction between students, control of the educational process. The technology of the distance learning we can divide into two types, case technology and network technology. Case technology is provided with CD, DVD, USB storage device and Gmail service. Network technology is provided by virtual methodical rooms and online boards, multimedia laboratory webinars. Tutor and learners work together. Case technology as a teaching method is applied with the purpose of involving communicational and creative skills of the students teaching them how to acquire the knowledge and form the competence. Purposes of the case technology Analysis of the information independent or in groups Finding the key problems of the suggested task Searching for information necessary to solve the problem Search and assessment of alternative means for solving the problem And selecting the best decision and working out a plan of actions Network technology. This technology is used to exchange the data between small and large information. This technology can be used in educational institutions as well as a business. Network technicians know the installation, configuration and troubleshooting of the network technology and this can be used to send digital data like audio, data and visual files. By using networking, users can send messages files through email or other channels based on the organization's requirement. There are three stages of organization of distance learning. The first is virtual, online learning environment using internet technology. In this environment, applicants have access to virtual classrooms, study materials, test assign assignments, self-assessment, academic calendars and other online resources via the internet or local area network. Synchronous. Synchronous interaction involves real-time interaction between student and teacher. Distance learning chats or video conferencing can be used for this. Asynchronous. Asynchronous interaction is carried out in the absence of real-time communication between the student and the teacher, in which case the distance learning contacts are organized by email correspondence using mailing list or teleconferences. Distance learning requires high motivation and cognitive skills from the student. It also requires discipline, problem solving, the ability to show their, their abilities on television. In distance learning, lessons are synchronous and asynchronous. Synchronous simultaneous learning of the program. Asynchronous, the student learns the program at different times in his spare time, etc. Such opportunities are very important in improving the cognitive activity of students. The elements of lessons in distance learning are learning material, diagnostic material, visual aids, teacher's explanation, discussion and conclusion assessment. The distance teacher and student can exchange tests, control tasks, assessment sheets by email, give homework and monitor its implementation. Slides, pictures, drawing and etc. during teleconference shows. Students can also share visual aids. The student presents his work to teachers and other students. This process is led by, by a teacher who asks questions in the form of an electronic conference, as well as via chat or video conference, which can ask questions to one student as well as the whole group at once. The teacher also asks the discussion on the topic and lets the discussion through various teleconferences in accordance with the learning objectives. The discussion can take the form of a web formula, email conference, chat discussion. The student can ask questions in person or by email, contact another student and ask questions. The teacher can adjust the process and make his own comments. There are five principles of distance education. The first, the principle of uniqueness of education. That is, the educational process must be designed in a way that corresponds to individual preparations, abilities, tendencies, trends and speed of learning. The second, 
the principle of the learner who controls to the process of learning, that is, the learner seeks the education by himself and have a real desire to study. The third, the principle of continuing education, that is, education is a lifelong process. A person may wish to develop themselves professional, scientifically or culturally and must be given the opportunity to do that at any time or place. The fourth, the principle of self-learning. The students study alone and often self-dependent. And the last principle, the principle of democratic education. Education is a prerogative of every member of society, regardless of color, race, religion or age. Techniques used in distance learning. Phonetic material. Audio teaching ways include interactive telephone communication techniques through group voice communication and recorded tapes. Audio visual material, including films, videos and video conferences. Satellite television broadcasting. It assists in education by increasing the number of learners. And the last Internet technologies characterized by lack of boundaries and low cost. Distance learning seminars are an active form of training. Distance learning seminars are conducted through video conferencing. They allow the discussion to enter any way in its development and read the words spoken earlier and take a few steps back. The teacher can access the mastery of material by the degree of activity of the participant in the discussion. The number of interactions between students increases and the teacher is seen as an equal partner. There are opportunities to use the following examples of lessons in distance learning with the help of computer telecommunications. Chat lesson. Training sessions using chat technology. Chat classes are held synchronously. All participants can enter the chat at the same time. Many distance learning educational institutions have chat rooms with the help of chat rooms for teachers and students to organize distance activities. Web lesson. Distance learning lessons, conferences, seminars, business games, laboratory work, practical and other types of lessons conducted with the help of World Wide Web Telecommunications and other features. A webinar, a combination of the words web and seminar, is a video workshop, a lecture or presentation hosted online using webinar software, often business related. These sessions can be used to share knowledge, ideas and updates with people around the world. Webinars can also be leveraged to build and nurture relationships, build authority around a brand or demonstrate a product. Unlike social media marketing or banner ads, webinars hold a different power over your audience. The power of scarcity. Social media posts are here to stay and advertisements are hard to get away from. But live webinars promise a value above traditional marketing tactics, and that value is a much more unique one. Now we will speak about virtual classroom. A virtual classroom is an online learning environment that allows for live interaction between the tutor and the learners as they are participating in learning activities. Although teaching and learning in a virtual classroom provide an experience similar to the physical one, it requires new pedagogical approaches and a redesign of the instructional model that includes the following characteristics. Virtual classrooms high interactivity, collaborative learning, student-centered instruction, variety of content presentation and learning activities, psychologically safe environment, positive and constructive feedback. The most common tools you can find in a virtual classroom are video conferencing, online whiteboard for real-time collaboration, instant messaging tool, participation controls, breakout rooms. Distance learning online technology has all the necessary learning materials for the student, located on the web server of the university. They are accessed via the internet. In the learning process, according to the schedule, the student must study independently. 
answer questions for self-examination, perform laboratory and practical work, to pass electronic testing, perform current and final control work. To sum up, we can say that distance learning technology is an information technology that allows students to work independently on the learning process as well as during the learning process, providing interactive interaction between learners and teachers during the learning process and the delivery of the bulk of the material to learners. Distance learning is a form of perception of knowledge as a full-time and part-time education using the best traditional and innovative methods in the educational process, tools and types of learning based on computer and telecommunication technologies. Now you can see the list of questions that you need to answer on my practical lessons. What are the types of the distance learning? What is a webinar? What skills do we need for the distance learning? What are the options for monitoring and testing knowledge in schools? What is a virtual class? Create a glossary of words, 10-15 words used this lecture using Quizlet and send me the link of the glossary. Make a test of 10 questions on the topic with 5 variants and make up the presentation on this theme, minimum 10 slides. And the last slide is the list of references that you can use during our lectures and practical lessons. Thank you for watching.